hello everyone welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to show you how we can paint cherry blossom and uh, i have composed this cherry blossom drawing so based on my previous uh, video wherein i have shown you how we can draw cherry blossom flower in different perspective so total i have covered eight different perspective and i have utilized all these perspective in this particular uh, tutorial or in this particular drawing so uh, whatever perspective we have seen in this sheet like left right or towards the sky like this one is towards the sky this one is towards the uh, right side and back so i picked all these and composed this drawing so based on your liking you can compose your drawing as per your choice or as per your need so let's start with the painting now so for today's painting i'm using 300 gsm watercolor sheet and i'm going to use minimal color so my first color is very light shade of red color it's very very light shade of red and uh, I'm going to uh, paint all the flower with this color we can paint cherry blossom flower with different techniques so one technique is uh, one stroke as well so I have already covered this one stroke technique and uh, I'm going to add uh, the link of that particular video if you want to view that particular uh, tutorial you can visit uh, that and learn how we can paint one stroke cherry blossom and uh, second technique is uh, this one that we are doing right now wherein we can draw a cherry blossom flowers and then uh, uh, paint like this whenever we are painting uh, any flower in a bunch i always feel the perception of flower is always important you cannot draw all the flowers in the same perception so I think you should learn how we can draw flower in different perception that is absolutely important so if you want to learn those you can visit to my previous video wherein I have shown how we can draw flower in different different perception and uh, uh, I'm done with my first uh, layer of the flowers uh, and uh, you can also add little hint of colors in between area as well like uh, apart from the flowers I'm adding those colors in between so that it will look like we have other flowers as well apart from the highlighted one now as you can see my flowers are quite dry so I'm adding a, a concentrated color of rose metal lake color and uh, I'm going to spread this color a little bit to highlight all the petals so I'm cleaning my brush with the clean water and spreading a color a little bit uh, around the petals so this is the first way to spread the color uh, you just need to clean your brush and try to spread the concentrated color around the petals I need a little dark shade uh, at the center of the flower so I'm adding uh, more color towards the center you can highlight few petals little dark shade and keep uh, other petals uh, in the lighter shade as well so those kind of uh, highlighting you can do Add concentrated color at the center and then wash your brush clean your brush and with the help of clean water just bleed the color a little bit so that you will get a different texture so start from the edge of the petals and go back to the center so that it will uh, bleed some color and uh, give you some texture around that
I am going to repeat this process for all the flowers. So this perception is little different wherein I cannot see the ovary. So keep the perception like that only and uh, clean your brush and bleed the center color a little bit so that you will get a different shade of pink and different texture around the petals. For few flowers I am going to do it slowly so that you can learn it easily and then for the rest I am going to do it quickly to complete this particular step for all the flowers. Now we are done with these many flowers and now I'm going to do it quickly. Add more color at the center to make it little dark. You can also highlight few of the petals for few of the flowers. Just take your time and uh, finish all the flowers uh, uh, if you are not satisfied with color, uh, highlights and the shape of the flowers so you can adjust those things a little bit. And you can add uh, uh, these colors in between as well. So now let's attach all these flowers with the help of stems. So I'm using burnt sienna and a hint of red and mix these two colors to highlight the stem area. So attach all the flowers with the main stem. For this stem my first color is burnt sienna and a little hint of red but I am going to add a little hint of green as well in this stems. So I am just going in between highlighting uh, middle or in between area with the help of green color now let's add few green leaves as well so I'm using sap green to add a few leaves so I'm adding only two three leaves okay that's it so 
let it dry for some time and then sprinkle some color so i'm sprinkling yellow and green color around the flowers so this step is optional if you don't want to do it you can skip this and i'm using very fine brush this is 5 by 0 brush to add stamen to all the flowers so i'm using again rose metal lake color only to add stamens so i'm going to add fine fine stamens for all the flowers And with the help of green colors add little dots at the tip of the stamen so you have to do it for all the flowers and all these stamens so this is the last step and we are done with the flowers so hope you have liked this video do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for all your love and support and thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video